Junkies. Junkies. The Mandalorian season three. No, I, I'm, I'm kidding. We're really talking Sweater about the Book of Boba Fett. But damn it, Sims. damn it, if it doesn't feel like the Mandalorian season three, like especially like this is two episodes in a row that featured very hem- heavily everybody but Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's talk about it. Well, okay, Cassidius. I, I don't know if that's too early for. It might be too early. I think he's still too yeah, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he still hasn't too set early. it up yet. Yeah, I haven't set it up. But um, no, nah, it's it, yes, it is very much deceiving, like the beginning of season three of the Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm fine with it actually because it's a big universe, and <laughs> apparently, <laughs> spoilers for those who haven't seen it. I'm sorry, y'all need to really get up earlier. Um. They brought in a lot of characters. They did. I did not expect my man to show up, though, at the uh, end. Yeah. Cat yes, Cat dude. Bane. Yes. Cat wow. Bane yeah. is that Cat dude. Bane. And they got his voice exactly right. I know, right? I was just like, well. They might as well get the same voice actor. Oh, I'm sure they did, but I'm just saying, just just hearing him say, you know, his, he, was, <laughs> he just came up and, and just called my man out like, Yep, I'm happy. This is my dude. And and he looked really he good. He looked awesome. Yeah, he, no, looked, he looked really, really good. Really good. Um, I mean, obviously, they've had the Duros um, in live action before. Right. But. Not him. Not him. <laughs> not and him. That dude is. And I love how they did it, too. He was way off in the distance. And really? He still knew it was him because of that hat. It yes! was just like. <laughs> yes. Like, like, dude, like, oh, literally. going there. It was, it was when, nice. Like, literally, in that episode, I was watching the episode with my daughter. And, like, literally, when I saw that shadow, I was like. Fucking cat bang! Mm-hmm. I was like, that's awesome. I'm just glad that he's sh- is showing up and they're keeping all the continuity stuff together. Of course they should, mm-hmm. and I'm glad that they are. But yeah, um, I don't want to call it a complaint, but I thought his hat should have been bigger because I thought it you know, was honestly, I-, I can understand that because every time we've he's seen him in, thing. you know, every time we've seen him in Rebels, every time we've seen him in, in Clone Wars, <laughs> it's a pretty big hat. <laughs> but they're trying to make it more realistic, I guess. Yeah. It was but so fucking big. You're gonna have those stupid, colorful, freaking speeder vespas, man. You can have a big ass hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to go to Haberdasher right. and get a bigger hat. Get that right. hat bigger, baby. So honestly, you know, Cat, seeing Cat Bane was really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, seeing Ahsoka was really surprising. That was unexpected. Mm-hmm. It was that was like, super she, she unexpected. Was just standing there. I'm just like, uh, I'm a family friend, right? Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, speaking of that, yeah. So clearly, clearly, the way R2 reacted to her, he never forgot anything. No, of course. R2's yeah. never had a wipe. I see. I thought it was 3PO and R2 mm-hmm. that yeah. got the wipe. Just yeah, it's protocol it. droid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So I thought that was really cool to see that, you know, Ahsoka and R2 interacting. But just seeing Ahsoka just kind of just, you know, talking Din off the ledge, say, hey, if you interrupt his training now, you're going to totally ruin it all. Like, mm-hmm. literally ruin it all. Mm-hmm. And obviously, let's let's talk about this expanded, you know, seeing Luke for a good what 15 minutes he was half of the episode yeah Yeah, like you know seeing doing all that CG on on Mark Hamill it was I, I, we're convinced it was Mark Hamill, right? Yeah. Or fall, was it a body fall, double that fall, was no, falling 100% right that is wild they obviously heard about the criticisms of Luke CGI Oh, yeah, because they got that dude that made it better. They actually mm-hmm. hired that guy. That's so right. Sure yeah. That's, on, that's right. They did. Yep. So I don't know, but still, there were some areas that I felt it looked a little weird. There was too much hair. I felt like he had too much hair, which just sounds stupid. But it just <laughs> yeah. Just, that's that eighties, seventies, eighties. Yeah, I know, but it just well, looked I mean, but, different. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, I guess. That's what I'm getting at. It, it's something about the CG on Mark Hamill's face wasn't perfect. <laughs> Obviously. Expecting it to be perfect is probably wrong. But realistically, the only thing Mark did in this episode was voice. That was definitely a a guy being him. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah that's what I thought. So, yeah, yeah, because that, that, all that running around, Mark Hamill was like, "Look, man, yeah. <laughs> I already did all that back in the eighties. Yeah, man, I ain't doing that again. Right. Yeah, but no, it was it was cool seeing um, all the little nods back to Star Wars history. You know, seeing the. Uh, the uh, seeing the the training um uh, Gogu's training Gogu's it was training, crazy see, seeing his Gogu's memories training. bro that was, seeing was his crazy memory, yeah, yeah well we all know that Yoda's oh, yeah, race he, is extremely long lived yeah well they said he was 50 years old but he's still technically a an baby, infant yeah. but yeah, technically an infant and yeah. he was blocking off a lot of stuff but my thing is he saw that did Luke see any of that would Luke know any of that because that's one thing that always kind of I won't say confused me I can't think of the word right now. Is that Hisoka? You can't say that she knows everybody in the Jedi Temple. 
because I'm pretty sure it's huge. Right. But if she had ever saw anybody that looks like Yoda, because we've only seen three, whatever that species is, mm-hmm. Yaddle, Yoda, Grogu. Right. That's it. And so she would have had to have seen, I, I won't say had, there, there's no You would think, but we, don't, would we think. don't necessarily know that that was Coruscant, that he was on. Obviously, or, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that was Coruscant because that was sick drawing that got killed right in front of him. Well, that's also another thing. If that's if that's the name of the same people, because I was watching, I always watch the recaps. They said the three people that were there all supposedly has names, mm-hmm. but there's a hollow crime of Anakin killing those same exactly, people. and that's the so that, that's, that where the, be, that's where the confusion yeah. would come up. But yeah. that that character that you saw die was definitely Sigdrala because he was the one that was supposed to have a fight scene with uh, Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, but it got cut because mm. he's the actual saber master that trained all the actors all the how animals. to actually okay. fight oh, in the. Wow. So oh, they my. gave him a part, of course. Okay. Um, there's a ch- there's a discussion going on in the chat. Uh, yeah, quite a bit. Ma- yeah, talking about uh, the Mandoverse and then um, <laughs> I think, and then uh, I think it was Hand of Omega was saying that he doesn't really see, see it as a Mandoverse, but he's at least glad that Lucasfilm is, is giving them the respect that they deserve as far as Star Wars and everything. Yeah. So. Well, uh, one of the things that Han did say, he said he didn't like Luke's emphem- em- emphasis on attachments, which I totally saw that ending coming, and I didn't like it either. He said he didn't like Luke's emphasis on attachment. He should learn that that's what doomed the Jedi. But see, he's early on enough in him uh, taking on that role of being a master. Yeah, exactly. That he would try and follow exactly what they did mm-hmm. first before he realizes that this is not going to work. Because master, I think that's one of the chief differences tail. between <laughs> Legends Luke and this Luke is that Legends Luke, when he started his Jedi Temple, he did it differently yeah. than no, what the Jedi did. he eventually did it differently. Every single version of Luke in that regard, he started off the same way with what he was taught. Because, again, you know, you go with what you know. Mm-hmm. He was basically Daniel LaRusso in that sense. Good. He was trying to be exactly like Yoda like was Miyagi. and everything else. Then eventually he was just like, but this ain't going to work. So eventually he made it where his Jedi could, you know, have girlfriends and boyfriends and get married and do all the stuff that, you know, normal people do. Because he realized that it's mm-hmm. like... Yeah, I'm not really training anybody to be better. I'm just training them to be exactly like what I was taught, and mm-hmm. it's not really working. So yeah. that's exactly what you're seeing. Mm-hmm. The, Grogu, as he said, would be his first student. So now, he's going to be really following the guidebook, as you would say. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, could you imagine if uh, Luke was running around the temple saying, it's like, well, Master Yoda said. Dude. Master Yoda Dude. said. Dude. <laughs> Master- well, look, man. We, we ain't starting that That's all right. That was- <laughs> What? With saying that, that always makes me wonder if they're going to do that because we all know Force Ghosts exist. Yeah. And w- where's Yoda? Not, I mean, they don't necessarily always Obi-Wan? have to pop up, but you yeah. think that they would come through I, to okay. help them out with some I, kind of guidance. Okay. You're, you're more more into Star Wars lore than, than we are. Mm-hmm. How does that whole thing work? Do the do the ghosts just pop up when they feel like it? Like, can you call on them when you feel like it? Like, how does that whole thing work? Because it's you like you can call on them, but it's just, it's it's. Here's the thing: the more they do it, the harder and harder it is for them to maintain their personality and their actual like. Like for example, Qui Gon, even when they showed him in Clone Wars, mm-hmm. he was just the voice of Qui Gon. He wasn't even able to make because again, he was one of the first people that did it, so he wasn't able to manifest his physical form from what people remembered. Mm-hmm. Then Obi Wan, he trained Obi Wan how to do it. Obi Wan, of course, as we've seen plenty of times, walking around needing to sit down for whatever reason. It's like, dude, you're a ghost. You don't need to sit down on the log, but he did it anyway. But the more they do that the more they start to lose their own essence of who they are, then they just become more and more one with the force. So it's almost like tensing mm-hmm. a muscle. Okay. It's like you okay. do it, but eventually you keep doing it. There ain't going to be no over Obi-Wan. He's just going to be the force. Okay. So it's... Hey, Evil yeah. rated... Uh, Pure F and Evil rated us uh, with one. Thank you, uh, thank you, Evil, for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Thank and you for the resub. You said, and he also and rated us? Yeah, he rated us I appreciate with one. The, appreciate yeah. the raid, everybody that came over with him. So appreciate um, it. <laughs> Takeem had a very a very nice comment. He said, uh-huh. uh, he's like, Luke saw Mara Jade and said, damn the celibacy. I got to <laughs> have much, some of that. Pretty much. Now, here's, here's what I'm mad about Luke at at the end of that episode. He knew it was coming. Yeah. You knew it was coming. Yeah. I was like, look, man, you get you. And he did him dirty, too. He so did. Because it's like, he was like, look. So he, he was, was like, like, hey, here, you can have 
Let me see. He was like, you can have this little shirt that like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly that it. You. No, hold it up, hold it up. Or yeah, yeah. she's putting it again. Oh, okay, hold it up. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you can have this little shirt that Mando gave you. All right. Or. or... Yo, you can have like one of these. Right. Like, you come got this on, dude. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I don't know. That was terrible. Like, yeah, I'm that just shit gonna, was terrible. Gonna, yeah, yeah. And Grogu's like, just sitting there, just like, motherfucker. Grogu's sitting there. I know you ain't really dope. Right. He's just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like, I want a book. Nah, dude. You're like, that wasn't even right. That man. wasn't right at all. Was, yeah, yeah, man. I was, I was like, kind of pissed a little about that. You were dirty. Yeah. Father Marvel was like, man, I side eyed Luke at that point. I would have too. Shit. Yeah, I'm like, man, you gotta like, be kidding hmm, me! How dare you do that shit? To I don't me? know. The, chain, right. the little chainmail shirt's kind of cool. It but, is, oh, but, but man, that's light light should have been a freaking uh, chainmail like, like, hoodie. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It's like a big papa, big papa pump. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Grogu Little Padawan around. Grogu <laughs> Little Padawan Grogu With the shades Somebody yeah. need to be oh, that we, That, that, we, that no, would be funny No that's, that's next shirt Yeah That's, that's next shirt For sure that. But no um, Oh my goodness You notice we're talking So much about Luke We're talking so much About Grogu We're, talk, we're talking about We haven't even talked About Jen very, uh, Din very much Because he didn't Really do a whole lot We talked about Cad Bane We talked about Maybe Cobb Vanth And him dumping Like literally thousands of credits of spice just in the Tatooine dirt. Like, Yeah, I think he's, in the next episode, he's going to be interesting because yeah. you know he's not he's dead. dead. No, I don't think he's dead, dead because no, it's not. like, they're like, get medical attention. I'm like, yeah, no, he's man was dead. dead. He did only get shot once. Yeah. He, he got shot, shot like, probably yeah. up here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll not like his deputy. Yeah, no. Oh, like, deputy was fucking asking for it. No, that's because Cam was getting tired of him talking. Yeah. Because he was just like. Why are you interrupting, Like, dude, you know what I love? It's like loose. Bath was looking at him like, man, if you don't shut the fuck up, just do it. Right. Do you know what's going on right now? This dude ain't no joke. Right. I said, he's new. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Because even though, even though Vance said that, he was like, oh, I didn't catch your name. He knew who he was. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. He, knew, he knew who he was. Yeah, he already knew. Yeah. He, he saw him across the desert. <laughs> <laughs> I shot the sheriff, but I totally massacred the Absolutely. deputy. Absolutely. I love that. Exactly. that no, that is perfect. Oh I shot God. the sheriff, but I totally massacred the deputy. No, that's yeah. absolutely. But no, I, we're making a point that basically this whole episode was about everybody but Boba Fett. Yep. And it's like, okay, this is supposed well, to be about hey, him. At least Boba well, made an appearance in this sure, episode. I know. <laughs> Cameo it's did the his own book show. Of How about Boba. that? Right. I mean, if you write a he's book, not, yeah, sometimes you chapter. can have other characters. But damn, this chapters. much? I mean, personally, I don't remember everything <laughs> about Harry Potter, but I do think. There was some chapters that was all Hermione or all Ron. Right, yeah. They, so, they weren't always all about Harry because yeah. that's boring. So, I, I mean, mean, okay, some people are saying it's a great yeah. setup episode for the last episode of the season. I mean, I hope so because I'm still waiting to see how all of this really still fully hey, comes together. Hey, ne- hey if, if next episode is a finale, they, they need two hours. They do. This is a lot, But you know what? I'm enjoying the ride. Uh, oh, absolutely. I feel like we're really getting that expansion of Star Wars that we – we're hoping the sequels would be, mm-hmm. but we're getting it more in a familiar territory. I think what I like about this, and this and this will probably be the way I close out, and from what I got to say, is I like the fact that we're getting more Star Wars, and they're not trying to force it down your throat with like a really hastily done movie. Sure. It's like the, t- the TV show format gives them a chance to like, you know, throw stuff out there, let it breathe. You know, bring in interesting surprises. Because imagine if this was just a straight up two hour movie, it'd Mm -hmm. be too much. Right. It would literally be too much. It'd be like, okay, well, this, no, nope, nope, nope. It it would feel like they're just cramming it all in. But when you got to spread it out over six or seven episodes that are each close to, you know, 45 minutes, you know, some are a little bit shorter every now and again, but like you get plenty of time to just do it. And, I'm loving the fact that, like, you know, Cad Bane is gonna is here now, and we're gonna see what he's gonna do in the next. It's just it's fun. You always don't you always feel like when they do this with these cameos of these characters, that is they're just gonna end up doing something with them more later. Oh, absolutely! It's like you introduce a live action Cad Bane, it would be a complete disservice if you didn't put him in something else. Absolutely, because he's he's the baddest bounty bounty hunter in my opinion. Yeah, that dude. Oh yeah, because you is, actually seen yes, yeah see him do stuff. yes yeah. It's not like, oh, Boba Fett, you're the baddest bounty hunter ever <laughs> in my brain. Exactly. It's like, man, Cat shows up. It's like, oh, yep. Yep, somebody about to die. Right. Like, immediately. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that clip. Make sure you check out our live content on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash culture junkies. We also have a lot of content available on YouTube, unboxings as well as Blu-ray reviews. And you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash culturejunkies. 
And on top of all of that, if you go to culturejunkies.net, you can check out our merch store. The link is culturejunkies.net slash merch. There's a lot of great merchandise there. So there's links and logos and stuff all around me. So check those out and we will see you next time.